we're going from the from the global scale to the uh, European scale to the national scale. Yeah. So my name is Claudia Nerina. I'm a professor uh, of mathematics at the world's northernmost university in Tromsø. So if you're uh, bored uh, in the afternoon, you can check on the map where it is. It's a beautiful place, but that's not what I'm here to promote. Um, Mathematics. So when did I start to be a mathematician? That's a, it's an interesting question, and I want to maybe come with the first bold statement. I think I was born a mathematician. <laughs> Hui, that's a very <laughs> hard... No, but I, and let me just add to that. I think we're all born mathematicians. Every human actually is a mathematician in that sense that we try to understand the world around us. So babies are mathematicians. Um, some of us are better at math, some of us are worse at math. Some of us lose the interest of mathematics, but we're all mathematicians in the sense that we try to understand through learning how the world around actually works. So that was, that was maybe now a big start, so now I have to follow up to that. So actually, I, I when, I when I was uh, your age, um, I, I did math in high school, I was okay at that, but I didn't really enjoy it so much because it was a lot about calculations, and I was also very much interested to understand how the world actually works. And at the same time, I wanted to be rich, <laughs> famous, you know, you're 16. <laughs> so I had two choices. I thought either I go into, you know, business administration, something like that, to wear fancy suits and be rich, or I study physics. So off I go to like so, 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 so a council meeting with a person to tell me about uh, what to study. And I said, ah, I have these two things. Either I want to be uh, uh, like doing economy or I want to do physics because I want to understand the world. And he looks at me and says, my friend, uh, you are mistaken. To understand what really the blood of the science, that's mathematics. And it hit me like something. And I thought, that's pretty odd. But then I thought a little bit about it. And then he also convinced me that uh, you got surely uh, employed and something afterwards. Don't worry. It's a good choice. And you can always do physics and business administration afterwards. So this is why I ha got hacked onto mathematics a little bit as a, as, a random, as a random choice because I was very sure I could do it. And then I fell in love with it pretty late. So then I was like 19. And, and, and the love of math actually came because I met interesting people. Studying math, I met a lot of other people that were like me, very much interested in stuff. I met cool professors that encouraged me and told me, oh, there's so much more, because when I was 18, I basically thought, well, all there is in calculus is what you learn in school. What else could there be? You know, physics was so much more interesting. There's all these big questions. What could there be a question in math anymore? I mean, stupid, I mean, for you, I mean, you have all seen maybe much more interesting mathematics, but I wasn't aware of so much interesting stuff. You could come in, and I was um, shown in the first semester, so that I really, it really hit me, and I wanted to be a mathematician. And then, yeah, so I started studying, and I went abroad. And this is also very important. We have heard this so far. I, I went, uh, where's the French delegation? I went to France. Uh, a lot of my interest in France, I, I actually, um, thanks to the, the French teaching that I had there, a beautiful book by Jean-Pierre Serre called Arithmetique, I read this book, and I really, I read it, and I fell in love with the book. And I have never had this with another book so far. Really, I couldn't stop reading it. It took me for ages to read one page. <laughs> but when I read it, I was like, this is it. And I really got this feeling. This is so precise. There's so much you can say that is, uh, Jon Christian also said, it, it's, it's about truth, you know. Now I understand it completely, and it's absolutely clear. And there's no doubt anymore in my mind that this is true. And having this feeling, when I was maybe 22, I was really sure this is what I want to do. I want to really understand how the world actually is made up, or yeah, not in a fi I, I'm not good at all making all these experiments. I, I figured this out during my studies. <laughs> for physics, you need to do all these uh, experiments. <laughs> for some reason, I was very bad at those things, uh, so practically. So um, I would never have figured out that the uh, gravitational constant is something about 9.81. <laughs> so for me, it was more about 10 and so on. So but maybe experimental physics is not what I should do. I should really understand mathematics. And that was... That was uh, that was uh, really, I think, a good choice for me. So I was very fortunate. I mean, that's part of the fortunate that people actually got interested in me, helped me a little bit understand what I'm doing, supported me, getting a PhD position, going abroad. I would have never dared to go to France. By the way, I was very bad at French in school, and and just going to the country and and getting. I mean, I learned a lot about mathematics, but I also learned a lot about myself going to another country. 
Um, so I really, this is one of the advices I want to give, you really travel around the world. And mathematics is particularly good for that because we've heard it already this morning. Mathematics is the one thing that is truly universal. Even if you don't speak French, even if you don't know when to use the subjunctif, if you use mathematics and you meet people that understand mathematics, you can communicate with people. And if they share your passion about the subject, there is a connection, even though communication sometimes is hard. This is really beautiful. Mathematics is a universal human thing. Every human is a mathematician, and there's a lot of people that enjoy mathematics. So really travel around the world, explore the universality of mathematics is my second advice. And my last advice is be humble enough to admit that you didn't understand something once this happens. Ask questions if necessary. Don't be afraid to ask questions. May it be in a course, may it be in a, in a collaboration that you have with another person. Just always be brave enough to say, oh sorry, I didn't understand. Can you please tell me again, why did we end up with that? And that? Because this is how you learn, is by, 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 by questioning yourself and actually allowing yourself to also be wrong sometimes to actually uh, improve what you maybe didn't know. So never be afraid of asking the question and always search uh, to work with other people to collaborate because we've also heard this mathematics is a human thing and what is more human than actually collaborating with other humans. So this is really my, my, my no, it's not four pieces of advice, collaborate with other people uh, as much as you can. Um, outside the, uh, the, the, the Olympiad maybe, where you're not supposed to collaborate, but <laughs> in as a researcher, <laughs> collaborate as much as you can. Thank you. How did my career path look exactly? So, okay, let, uh, <laughs> so I mean, so now, I, okay, this is a very interesting question because now I ended up really in a place, in a place I have never thought I would end up, which is like really the most extreme point of Europe, in a profession that I didn't think. I mean, again, looking as as a 19 year old, I didn't even know that it is a possibility to be a math professor. I mean, yes, there are people that are doing mathematics, but. Did you see yourself like this? No, I mean, of course not. So I, I think, so I, I, I studied and I afterwards I was very lucky to get uh, an offer for a PhD position. I took the PhD position and I just decided, oh, I like it so much, I want to stay. You know, I'm, I'm this is maybe not the best career advice I would like to give you, but it worked out for me. Luckily, I just stayed on the train and I enjoyed it so much. And somebody said, well, do you want to get off or do you want to take the next ride? And I said, oh, it's so nice. Why not doing a postdoc, you know? And and that way I ended up where I am now and I'm very happy with the choices, but it could have been much more planified maybe. But then again, we all know uh, you make plans and the reality of <laughs> maybe different. So always leave yourself the openness to actually yeah, see where life brings you to, as long as you enjoy it.